Howdy everyone, today we're taking a look at the EcoWell Electric Gooseneck Kettle. It comes in this nice looking retail box and here is everything you can expect to find inside. Before getting going, I do need to disclaim that this product was provided by the manufacturer for purposes of making this video. That said, I have no further business planned with them, so I'm free to speak my mind. Now you might be wondering why one would need a fancy gooseneck kettle over a cheaper standard one, and the answer is precision. With this type of kettle, one is able to direct the stream of hot water exactly where one wants. This level of control is often necessary when doing things like making pour over coffee, as I'm doing here. All right, so just first impressions outside of the box is that build quality is very good and also very similar to some other uh, gooseneck kettles that I've taken a look at uh, from Amazon, which is a good thing because they all seem pretty well built. Uh, I do like this uh, little OLED display thing. I think it looks really classy. The button itself has a, a nice clicky resistance to it. Um, and overall, just the, sort of the fit and finish kind of uh, looks pretty nice. It should fit in most decors. It's sort of uh, the base, it might be kind of hard to see on camera, but the base is kind of like this uh, sort of satiny, almost like metallic sheen to it, very subtle. And then the uh, body of the kettle itself is just a kind of a uh, matte, lightly satin black. So overall, good impressions. And then on the inside, everything looks very tidy. We have a nice sort of shiny uh, brushed stainless steel on the sides and on the top. All right, operation of the kettle pretty much all happens uh, right here on this button. Uh, like I previously mentioned, it does have a real premium feel to it. It has kind of a nice uh, weighted turn on there, so it does not feel cheap at all. When you turn it on, um, we get a pretty clear looking display out right there. Uh, it defaults to just your last, last scent temperature, which to me was 195, and it just will automatically kind of start heating to that temperature right away. Uh, you do have a couple options. Um, you can just press it once again to turn it off. If you long press it when it's in this mode, it will initiate a timer, which is a really cool feature uh, for a lot of different drinks that uh, kind of require a specific seeping time. So give that about a two second press. You get a three, two, one countdown. And then check that out. It'll automatically start a little timer for you. I know when I make my AeroPress coffee, uh, I personally kind of just let the uh, grounds breathe uh, for about 30 seconds and then I let it uh, steep for about a minute before pressing it. So that should really help out with that and then another click will get you back to there. Um, turn it off. Uh, now to enter setup, you enter setup when the unit is off or on standby and then you long press it again. And you get a couple options. Uh, you can choose to hold temperature or have it just kind of once it reaches the temperature beep and then start cooling down i leave it on hold oops um, you can decide if you want the beep on or off i leave it on and then you can select units uh, centigrade or fahrenheit and next up i want to give you guys a little visual demonstration of how this unit heats up to do so i've got my thermal camera synced with my regular camera so we can see how hot this product gets to the touch Simultaneously, we'll also be able to tell how quickly the EcoWell is able to heat its full capacity of 0.8 liters from 61 degrees to boiling. So I obviously sped that up a bit as I doubted anyone wanted to literally watch water boil, but here are the results. First, it took exactly 5 minutes to go from tap water temps to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Second, the exterior of the product, except for the handle, gets very hot, upwards of 220 degrees. So do yourself a favor and don't touch it while it's on. Alright, there is a one little feature of the EcoWell that uh, is a little different than some other electric kettles you may have used in the past. Uh, with every other product I've ever used, when you remove the kettle um, and place it back down, it will either cancel the heating process or if it's already reached temperature, just start to cool down. Not so with this product. Uh, basically, when you lift the kettle up and place it back down, it just pretty much picks up right where it left off and either holds it at the temperature it had it at or starts heating to your preset temperature. So uh, if you don't want that to happen, then you do have to 
manually turn it off. So overall a nice product, I like the build quality and the crisp LED display looks really classy. The fact that removing the kettle doesn't cancel the heating cycle I find a bit weird, not bad, just different. But all things considered, I'd call it a good option for those in the market. Okay, take care.